Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this adorable feline rested sleep mask. This is so fun and easy to make. Uh, we're going to be making this mask and um, yeah, I'll just show you how to make all the pieces for it and attach all the pieces for it. It's so cute. So we're using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in this project today. I'm just using a little bit of pink and then I'm using for my main color, black, and then a little bit of uh, white as well. You're going to need a little bit of tacky glue and some craft felt in black and pink and then some elastic for the back of your mask where we're going to be using around the band and then you're going to need a scissors a yarn needle a measure tape and the crochet hook we're going to use today is a size G hook, which is four millimeters. This specific hook that I'm using is 4.25 millimeters. It is a G6 hook. And this one's super fancy. It is an ergonomic, hand carved, handcrafted, uh, ergonomic crochet hook that is super fancy. So we are um, using that today. You can get the same hook as me if you check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have a link to the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. And and you can find hooks just like this on there. So I'll have that linked in the description and in my pattern. All of these supplies you're going to need today will be in the uh, written pattern that's available on yarnutopia.com for free. So you can check that out there. And this is so adorable. We're making this cute little cat mask. So let's get into it. Make sure you check those links out though. Make sure you check out uh, my Facebook and Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia. If you make this or any of my projects, I would absolutely love to see these on social media. How fun. So let's just get right into making the feline rested sleep mask. All right, let's start out with uh, making the main part of our mask, or the actual mask part, using this black color. We're gonna make a slip knot, so let's put the short end over the long end, then fold this down, and then pull the long end through, and that is a slip knot. So just pull tight, insert your hook, and to start off, we are going to chain five. So yarn over and pull through. One, yarn over, pull through, two, three, four, and five. And now in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put two single crochets. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one and two. In this chain here, I'm gonna turn the chain toward me and I'm going to work into these back ridges on the foundation here. So right in here in the second chain, we're gonna go in to that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. So we're gonna do that again in the same chain. So go back in, there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Now in the next chain, we're only going to put one single crochet. So go into there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And also in the chain after that, we're just gonna put one single crochet. Now we have one chain left. We are going to put two single crochets in the last chain here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, go back into that last chain and make another single crochet. So row one will have six single crochets going there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, awesome. So going on to row two, we're just going to chain up one and then turn the work around like this and we are going to just put one single crochet in each of these six stitches. So go into this very first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we are doing single crochets. And just single crochet across this whole row here. One, two, three, here's four, five, and six. So you should have six stitches on row two. Going on to row three, we're going to chain up one and turn the work around like this. And we are going to put two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So here's one, hop to the next stitch, here's two, hop to the next, here's three and four. And now in the last stitch right here, we're going to put two single crochets. 
one and two. So at the end of row three, we will have eight single crochets across. Going on to row four, we're going to chain one and turn our work around, and we're going to just put one single crochet in each stitch across for, again, a total of eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's chain one and turn our work around. We're going to go on to row five. We're going to increase again. So let's put two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. So one, hop to the next, here's two, next stitch is three, there's four, five and six, and there should be one stitch left. We're gonna put two single crochets in there. One and two. So at the end of row five, you will have 10 stitches across. Now let's chain up one and turn our work around for rows six through 10. Okay, so rows six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The next five rows, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch across. And then we'll chain up one and turn our work and just put one single crochet in each stitch across for rows six through 10. Once I finish row 10, I'll meet you up because we're going to decrease then for row 11. All right, once you finish row 10, we can go on to row 11. Now, if I am going a little too fast for you, you can always pause this and rewind this, uh, but we're gonna go on to row 11 now. Let's chain up one and turn the work around, we are going to single crochet in the first eight stitches. So right in here, go into this first stitch, single crochet in eight. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three. Here's four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there should be two stitches left. We're gonna single crochet those two together to decrease this row. So let's go into this next stitch here, then yarn over and pull through, and then to go directly into the very last stitch right here. Then yarn over and pull that through, and then you have three loops on your hook. Let's yarn over and pull through all three of those. So we just decreased. So now you should have nine stitches on row 11. Let's chain one and turn the work around. Going on to row 12, we're going to decrease again. Let's single crochet two together. So go into this very first stitch right here, yarn over and pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a single crochet decrease. And then we're just going to single crochet in the rest of the stitches on this row, which should be seven. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should have eight stitches on row 12. Going on to row 13, we're going to decrease again. Let's chain up one and turn the work around. We're going to single crochet into six stitches. So just put a regular single crochet in six stitches. So there's one, next stitch is two, here's three, four, five and six. There should be two stitches left. We're gonna single crochet those two together. So go into the stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, which is the last stitch on this row, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so you should have seven stitches on row 13. Going on to row 14, let's chain one and turn the work around. We're going to decrease again, so single crochet two together. So go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then just put one single crochet in each of the rest of the stitches across here. So that's five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so there should be six stitches on row 14. 
Going on to row 15, we're going to increase now. So you can see this is halfway done. This is the one eye side. So now we're going to go on to the other eye side. So we're going to chain one, turn the work around. Let's single crochet into five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. There should be one stitch left. We're going to put two single crochets in there. One and two. Okay, two stitches in that one stitch. So now there should be seven stitches on row 15. Going on to row 16, let's chain up one and turn the work around. We're going to increase, so let's put two stitches, two single crochets in this first stitch here, right in there, two single crochets, one and two. And then just put one single crochet in the rest of the stitches, which should be six. So let's count here, one, Hop to the next stitch, there's two, here's three, four, five, and six. So there should be eight single crochets on row 16 now. Going on to row 17, let's chain up one and turn the work around. Row 17, we're going to single crochet in the first seven stitches. So go into this first stitch here, just put one single crochet in each of these first seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then in the very last stitch here, there's one stitch left, we have to put two single crochets in there. So one and two. So now you should have nine single crochets across on row 17. Going on to row 18, let's chain up one and turn the work around. We're going to increase again. Let's put two single crochets in the first stitch. Whoopsie. Here we go. One and two. And then in the rest of the stitches across, we are just going to put one single crochet in each one of those. So there should be eight. So one, two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now on row 18, you should have 10 single crochets across. Now we're done increasing here. We're gonna chain one and turn our work around. Rows 19 through 23 are a repeat of rows six through 10. So just single crochet across here for five rows. So that's rows 19 through 23. So 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Once I'm finished with row 23, we're just single crocheting across here, chain one, turn the work, single crochet across until we finish row 23. When we finish row 23, I'll meet you up because we'll go on to uh, row 24 and we'll start decreasing again. All right, just finishing row 23 here. Let's go on to row 24. We are going to chain up one and turn our work around. We're going to decrease by single crocheting two together. So let's go in this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next six stitches. So count one, two, three, four, five and six, and then we should have two stitches left. We're gonna single crochet those two together. So go into this first stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go into the very last stitch here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now on the row uh, 24, you should have eight single crochets across. So chain up one and turn your work. Row 25, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of eight stitches again. So one, two, three, four. There's five, six, seven, and eight. We are almost done here. Let's chain up one and turn our work around. For row 26, we're going to single crochet two together. I showed you that how, how to do that already. So single crochet these first two stitches together. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, 
three and four and then there should be two stitches left we're gonna single crochet those two together so I showed you that before single crochet those two together just like that so you should have six stitches at the end of row 26 so let's chain up one turn the work around row 27 is single crochet across so very simple just put one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of six stitches and then we're going to go on to our last row, row 28. Let's chain up one and turn the work around. We are going to single crochet two together. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. And there should be two stitches left. Let's decrease here. Single crochet those last two stitches together. So now you should only have four stitches across here for row 28. Now what we're going to do is single crochet around this whole piece. So this is what it should look like here. You can see here on the nose area that it comes up and it's straight across the top here. So this is what we have. We're going to single crochet to clean up these um, kind of jaggedy edges here. So chain one. You can turn the work if you'd like. We're going to single crochet in each of these stitches here. One, two, three, and four. And then just continue working along this edge here. So I'm going to put another single crochet in this corner. And then I'm going to go wherever my hook fits is where I'm going to put a single crochet. And it's basically in every single row on the side around the stitch around the single crochet that's the last stitch in the row so basically wherever my hook fits is where i'm going to put a single crochet along this edge and we're just going to single crochet around this whole piece exactly like this so it, it cleans it up fairly nicely you can see the nice clean edge there so i'm going to do that all the way around and then when i'm back to the beginning back around this whole piece i'll meet you up because i'll show you how to fasten this part off all right when you come back around um i just single crocheted around this whole piece we need to fasten this off so let's go in the first single crochet right here go in we're going to slip stitch so yarn over and pull through and pull through all the way and then to fasten this off i usually just chain one and then i cut my yarn and then i pull that through just like that and then pull tight and then we can grab our yarn needle right away and weave in this loose end so there we have a nice uh, plain mask right now if you wanted just a plain mask you can just add the elastic to this um, and have a plain mask. I do recommend putting um, a piece of felt on the inside though, just to, um, so it doesn't, you know, scratch your face much, especially if you're using more of a rough um, yarn. There we go. So I just sewed in that end. You can stretch this out and have a nice mask. There it is. Awesome. But we want to make this into a sleepy kitty. So let's set this aside and grab um, some more black yarn. Let's make the ears right away. So grab that black yarn and your crochet hook. Let's make a slip knot. So I showed you how to do that in the beginning of this video. Let's put the short end over yarn or uh, fold this down and then pull that yarn through that loop there and then insert your hook. Now for the ears, we're going to make two of these. I'm just going to show you how to make one though. We're going to start off by chaining six. So yarn over and pull through one, whoopsie, two, three, four, five, and six. And now in the second chain from the hook and across, we're going to single crochet. So count one and two, the second chain here. Let's turn the chain toward us and work in those back ridges there. Let's go into that back ridge, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. And next chain, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two, here's three, next chain is four, and the last chain is five. So you should have five single crochets on row one of the ear. Going on to row two, let's chain up one and turn the work around. 
we're going to single crochet two together. So remember how I showed you in the mask part, go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then just put one single crochet in this next stitch here. And then we're going to single crochet these last two stitches together. All right, so on the end of row two, you should have three stitches across. So going on to row three here, let's chain up one and turn the work around. We are going to single crochet in each of these three stitches. So there, you should still have three stitches across for row three. And then row four, we're gonna chain up one and turn our work around and we're gonna do a single crochet three together to make all three of these stitches into one. So let's go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go right into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then go into the last stitch and yarn over and pull through. So you should have four uh, loops on your hook right now and then yarn over and pull through all four of those loops, just like that. Now we have a, more of a triangular shape, but we do have to fix it because it's kind of jaggedy. So let's chain one, turn the work around. We're gonna single crochet around this whole piece. So let's single crochet into this first stitch here. Okay, when we come back around, we'll put another single crochet in there. We're gonna work down this side right here just single crochet, similarly to how we single crocheted around the mask, so wherever your hook fits. Now in the corners, you're going to want to put two single crochets in the corner uh, stitching here because you want those to be more pointy and more triangular. So there we go, pointy corner. And then along this bottom edge, and you can see I'm also single crocheting over the top of this straggler or this loose end here so that I don't have to sew it in later. But if you want to, you can sew that in later. You don't have to crochet over the top of it, but it just saves a, another step in the work here. So I'm putting two single crochets in this corner here and then coming up my last side, just single crocheting up here. And then when we're about to fasten off, we want to actually uh, put a single crochet where our first single crochet is. So right in the same spot here. I don't know if you can see it very well. This is black yarn. But I'm going right in that same spot there and putting a single crochet. And then we're gonna go into this first single crochet right here and make a slip stitch to close this. So yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. And then to fasten this off, we're gonna chain one. We're going to cut our yarn uh, kind of long for sewing, and we're going to pull that all the way through and then pull that tight. And now we're going to stretch this out to make it more triangular. And there's a cute little ear. Now I'm gonna trim this here, this little straggler that I crocheted over. Make sure you weave in your loose ends. Now this uh, long strand here, we're going to use for sewing onto our mask. So make sure you rewind this, make another ear just like this one. So you have two ears just like this, cute. Okay, so once you have those um, all done, we can sew them onto the top of our mask like this. So to do that, let's grab our yarn needle, yarn our needle with one of the long strands of one of the ears, okay? And then position this where you want your ear to be, basically right above one eye, okay, on this side. And then we're just going to go back and forth into some stitches. So I'm just gonna go into this stitch right here from the back pulling this forward, just like that. And then going back into this next stitch and into the next stitch on the ear at the edge, bottom edge there. Okay, and then just pull, just like that. And then go into the next stitch of the ear and then the next stitch on the mask. 
So we're just going both through both layers there. And then just pull. Next stitch. It should be about, I don't know, six or seven stitches for you. I think this is four. Here's five. And I have one more. Okay, and then I can show you how to fasten this off. You want to end on the back side of your mask, so behind the ear. Okay, oh, that looks so cute. Awesome. Okay, so this is where we want to end it. So let's turn this around to the back side. We're going to go underneath a few stitches here, just like this. I'm going to keep my finger in this loop and pull. And then I'm going to come back through this loop and put my uh, needle through, through there, remove my finger, and pull tight. And that fastens it off and ties a nice knot. And you can do that once or twice, and then when you're ready to sew this in, just kind of weave this behind some of the stitches back here to hide this end. Stretch it out. Make sure it looks good. And you know what? I think I want to sew this, tack this part down, and then sew this in. There we go. And I'm just going to weave this underneath these stitches just to hide this loose end. Some more. And when you're comfortable with it being hidden, you can chop that and then stretch it out. And there it is. A nice ear. So I'm going to do the same exact thing with this ear on this side, just sewing it like that. And then once I have this ear done, we can come back and make the other embellishments. All right, so I just sewed on the other ear, so this is what it looks like. Now what we want to do is grab some pink felt, and I'm going to uh, cut a piece here to uh, make the inside of the ears. Now if you want to, you can actually... Um, crochet a mini triangle and kind of just sew it in there but I'm gonna just glue this in there so I'm just cutting a triangle piece here okay something like this and then see if they look good in here. Oh, those are a little too big. <laughs> Let me cut them a little bit shorter. Okay, just small little triangles to go inside of the ears. Like that. Okay, and then we want to glue these down. So let's um, grab some glue. Now you can sew these if you want to. So I'm just going to take some tacky glue here. This is just like regular original tacky glue. And you can, if you want to, just put a little dab in there and then glue it down on your mask and then let it dry. Or you could sew that down as well if you don't want to glue it down, but that's that's creator's choice. So I am making mine with glue. You can sew yours down just like that. Awesome. Now let's uh, make the mouth or the nose and the mouth and the whiskers area over here. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry here. We got some glue on the outside there. Oh well, it'll dry clear. So <laughs> let's set that aside and grab some white yarn and make the uh, nose part. All right, with um, some white yarn here, we're going to make a slip knot. I showed you how to do that earlier. And we're gonna start out by chaining seven. So let's yarn over and pull through. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. So count one and two right in this chain here. I'm gonna turn the chain toward me and work into that back ridge there. 
So go into the second chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's our single crochet. Hop to the next chain and put one single crochet in there. And then in the next chain after that, we're going to actually put two single crochets. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In the next chain after that, we are going to put two single crochets in there as well. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, go back into that same chain and make another single crochet. Now there should be two chains left over here, so let's put one single crochet in each one of those. So one and last one here, one. Okay, so you should have eight single crochets on this row and it should have made a kind of a little thing here like that, okay? Like a half circle, sort of. I guess, I don't know, an arch, I guess. Anyway, going on to row two, we're going to chain up one, turn the work around like this, okay? We're going to single crochet in the first three stitches here. One, two, and three. And then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch right here, one, and two, and two single crochets in the stitch after that. One, and two. And then there should be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, three stitches left here. We're going to put one single crochet in the rest of those. So one, one, and one. So you should have 10 stitches on row two. Okay, and you can kind of see the arch is also there looking like an arch now. Going on to, let's see here, this next step, we're not crocheting around the whole piece. We're going to continue working, crocheting along this edge here, along this bottom edge here, and then coming up this edge here. And we're gonna end right here, okay? So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to single crochet in this spot right here. And in this stitch, you can see at the bottom here, it looks like a stitch. We're gonna single crochet in there. And then we're going to single crochet along each stitch on the bottom foundation row here. Okay, so there should be six here. We're just going to single crochet. And it's going to be a little tough and a little tight, but we can get through it. And when we stretch this out in the end, it will uh, keep its shape. It'll have its nice shape of a cat nose. Okay. There we go. And then we're coming up this edge here. And single crochet. Now to fasten this part off, we're gonna slip stitch into this first single crochet right there. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And then to fasten off, chain one, cut your yarn quite long for sewing, and then pull that all the way through and pull that tight, okay? And then like I said, kind of stretch this out like this. Okay, now this next part is going to be a little tricky. Uh, not too bad though. <clears throat> what we're going to do is grab some pink yarn and we're going to embroider the little nose. Okay, so how we're going to do that is grabbing our yarn needle and our pink yarn. We're going to yarn our needle. Okay, going from the back of our work right here, you can see here there's four stitches here. One, two, three, four. There's two stitches in this one and two stitches in this one. We're going to start with each of the outer edge um, stitches here. And I'm going to go from the back right here. Okay, so I'm just pulling that through there a lot because we're going to use that for embroidering. Then we're going to come down to the center right here. And then we're going to come up to this stitch right here. So we're kind of making a little triangle, an upside down triangle. Okay, and we're going to come back through to this spot right here. Okay, and you can embroider your nose however you'd like, but this is just how I'm going to do it, okay? Now you could just leave it like that, just like a nice V. It could be like a bunny style if you want it to be, um, but I'm going to just then 
continue filling in across here, going in and out of this around all the way till I meet the other side. Okay. And I'm doing it a little bit faster for the camera, but you can, you know, take your time and make this nice. <clears throat> there have been times where I've made it and then had to frog it and restart because it is kind of tedious and it didn't really turn out well, but it should turn out for you if you just continue working like this. And I'm almost done, so you can just continue watching here. Okay, and I just need a couple more. And then after this one, we're going to grab the black yarn and we're going to make a little mouth. Awesome. There it is. Cute little nose. Okay, so once you have your nose finished and you're happy with it, how it looks, that is so cute. We're going to turn this over like this. We're going to cut our yarn um, just a little short here. And we're going to tie those two strands in a knot. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to leave that in the back there. You can tie it twice or three times. Totally up to you. You can even cut these shorter if you want. Those will be hidden behind the piece when we sew this onto our mask. So that's the nose part. Now let's grab some black yarn and embroider a little mouth. So let me grab my <coughs> yarn needle here. Excuse me. We're going to yarn the needle with the black yarn next. And again, starting from the back here, at the base of the nose, we're going to come out right here. Pull it through, okay, come down to about right here, okay, and then come out through here, come back through, and then come back through here. And you might need to, you know, play around with this also because... Yours might not turn out, and like this is going to be a little awkward. So we got to shape it, make it nice. Okay, and we want to end again in the back. Here. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to cut this also, just like we did the nose, and then tie these in a knot. Just like this. Double or triple. Totally up to you. Okay. And then cut those short. And then we have to sew this to our mask. Okay, so grab your mask. Grab that yarn needle. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to position this down here. Right about here, right in the center there. Okay. And we're going to make sure all of our loose ends and strands are behind this little motif here. And we're going to use that long strand that we cut earlier on this white piece and we're going to sew this on. Okay, so we're going to go in to the mask and then out the next stitch. And you just want it to be centered. You can use the photos or this, you know, video obviously uh, to position yours and get a good idea on where yours should lie on the mask. Um, but just go back and forth in each stitch around this piece, just like this. Then once you have this all sewn on, I'll meet you up. We'll fasten this part off and then we'll make the eyes. <coughs> all right once you have this all sewn on and you're ready to fasten this off we are going to go underneath a few stitches in the back here okay and don't worry about that because we're going to cover this with felt later on so just go through and make a loop and then pull that yarn back through that loop very similarly to how i showed you um for the ears 
Okay, I'll do it again here. We're going to go in to a couple stitches. I'll keep my finger in that loop this time. And then come back through that loop and then pull tight. Okay, and if you want to, you can cut this shorter, but that will be inside of this piece. And if you want to, you can go between the two layers with your hook like this and pull that behind everything. Okay, careful with your scissors though. And there we have it. It looks so cute. Okay, so now let's make the eyes. We're making sleepy eyes. So all we need to do is just make a white chain. So let's slide, slide this over here. Grab your white yarn or whatever color you want your eyes to be. Make a slip knot. Okay, I showed you how to do that earlier. Grab your hook. And we're going to just chain 11. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then we're going to cut our yarn long for sewing and continue to pull it through that last chain and then pull that last chain tight. Okay? So that last chain kind of looks like it's, go it's gone now because we pulled it really tight. So you should have ten chains just like this. So make two of these exactly the same. So we have two little sleepy eyes. They don't look like eyes yet, but we will make them look fabulous on this thing. So what we're going to do is position this right below the ears and we're going to kind of round them like this so they look like U, the letter U. Okay, right here. And you can position them if you want them more out or more in. Uh, I'm just going to go right underneath the ear here. And then what we're going to do is sew this on. Let's grab our hook first. I'm going to position this where I want it. You can pin this down if you want and make sure you have it, you know, kind of eyeball it where you want it to be. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to take this one with a short strand here and I'm going to go behind my work with my hook and just pull that strand through. Okay, that's just going to kind of anchor it down a little bit right there. Then I'm going to go up through here okay and then I'm going to yarn my needle with this long strand okay and I'm going to go in through here and very similarly to how we sewed on the nose and mouth piece we're going to sew this on, just going back and forth through the chain, just like that. And you can take your time with this. It's no rush. I'm just going faster for the camera here. Okay, And then we're going to fasten this off. And you want to end on the inside of your mask here. So I'm going to end it like that. That looks so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, kind of just stretch it out. Make sure that's how you want it to look. Then turn this over. And then tie these two in a knot. Let me cut this. Okay, tie these two strands in a knot in the back. Okay, I'm going to do a triple knot. There we go. And then if you want to, you can cut these short and just leave it because, uh, like I said earlier, that felt piece that we're going to add later is going to cover this whole backing. So we won't see any of this, which will be nice. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did here on this side with this eye. And then once I have these on, we'll add some whiskers and we just have to add the elastic for the band. All right, so I just sewed on the other eye, so this is what it looks like, so cute, but I just meant, forgot we um, have to add some whiskers because this is a cat. So let's grab our white yarn. We're just going to do this little kind of um, embellishment, like a little embroidering here. We're no crocheting. Just yarning the needle with the white here. We're going to go in from the back into this white part here, okay? And we're just going to make cute little... Just two whiskers on each side. I'm going to go in here and then back through here and right here. 
just like that. And then we're gonna cut those two on that side and do the same thing to the other side. Just tie these two in a knot in the back. Again, the felt is gonna cover this, so we're just gonna tie those two in a knot, cut that short. So there's two whiskers on that side. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing to this side and then I'll meet you up and then we'll add the uh, elastic band and then we'll add the felt. All right, the whiskers are on. So now we just need to add the elastic and the felt. So let's flip this over and look at the back of our mask here. And I have a piece of elastic uh, I measured that's half of the circumference of my head. So my head is 22 inches around, okay? So I measured 11 inches on this elastic, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's 11 inches or close to 11 inches on the mask or on the elastic here. So that's how much, so half of your um, circumference of your head. And what we're going to do here is just go to the edge here, right here, just a, like a half inch in. And I have a little strand of yarn already yarned on my needle. We're going to go in to the mask and then out back through here. Okay. And then we're going to tie this in a knot just to attach this. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. Well, just tie it in a double or triple knot. There we go. Just like that. And then do that to the other side. You can cut these short. Careful with your scissors. And go to the other side. Grab a strand of yarn. Use your yarn needle. Yarn your needle with that strand. It has to be the same color as your mask, so make sure you have the black here. And then make sure this isn't twisted make sure that your elastic is not twisted and we're going to flip this over like this put it on the inside there go from the inside or the back side out there you go and then back through just like that and then tie that in a knot Just like that and then we have to add the felt now you can decide if you want to glue the felt with that tacky glue similarly to what we did with the felt with the ears you can do that otherwise I am going to sew it on just because I don't want to smell any glue chemical <laughs> when I'm asleep so I'm going to place this I cut this piece of felt same color as the mask like this okay this is the piece of felt just cut in the shape of the mask and we're going to put it on the inside here just covering all those loose ends make sure you line it up with everything and cover those loose ends and then I have a piece or strand of yarn that's just a scrap strand and I ended up actually um, taking a long strand of yarn and splitting it so pretend this is a long strand here what I ended up doing is splitting it in half. So there's four little strands here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but there's four strands and I took two in one hand and two in the other hand and kind of just pulled just like this. So it's a really long strand like that. Okay. So I did that with this strand here. So it's a little thinner. You could use thread or you can do the same thing like that with your yarn and just use your yarn and you know, spread it out just like that okay so now I'm using this to sew on this felt and we're just gonna start in one spot going through the back and then going out through here just make sure to work around your elastic so you are um, oopsie. Gonna be a little difficult it's very similar to how we sewed on the nose part or even the eyes of this piece um, 
it is going to take a little time though and you don't have to watch me do the whole thing but I'm just going to go along the edge just like this and that way this part is hidden as well on the the elastic or whatever is hidden as well on the inside and I'm having difficulties with my strand of yarn here we go just make sure you work see around your elastic and I probably just screwed that up all right and just finishing up around here sorry I kind of made a little mess up there but I ended up just sewing around here just going back and forth and you can see my stitches along the edge here of this thing and it covers uh, everything so you can't even see the loose ends on the inside there so when you come back around uh, we just want to end here in the inside so let me do one more stitch here okay and on the inside make sure everything is looking good on the side of your mask and there's no loose ends or weird stitches and then what we want to do is tie these two ends in a knot okay you can do two times or three times I'll do three times here and then we'll take those both strands and yarn our needle with those and then just slide them into uh, the in between the two layers in between the layers of the felt and the mask Okay, I'm just going to come out the felt side here and then cut any extra stretch it out make sure it's completely hidden inside if you need to cut any more <laughs> whoops there we go and there you have it lovely feline rested sleep mask it's done how adorable is that and it's so nice and clean and oh my gosh I can't wait to take a nap with this how adorable thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this adorable mask if you did learn something and you did make this please share your photos on Facebook and Instagram and there should be a little subscribe button that's gonna pop up on your screen if you're watching this on the computer so make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube have a great day everyone Happy hooking!